Did you know that only 1,154 sites worldwide hold the prestigious title of UNESCO World Heritage Site? That's less than the number of emojis on your phone. And here's the catch. Some of these incredible places could fade away or get trickier to visit in upcoming years. But fear not, because I'm going to take you on a tour to one, not two, but seven UNESCO World Heritage Sites you absolutely must have on your travel bucket list. And you won't believe, visiting just one of these wonders is like stepping back in time to meet 100,000 generations of your ancestors. Number seven, Mesa Verde National Park, USA. Let's start our trip in the United States, where cities from long ago are carved into cliffs and the stories of the past are written on the walls of canyons. Welcome to Mesa Verde National Park in Colorado. A site that's not just a scenic wonder, but a bridge to a past civilization. Imagine walking through a landscape dotted with over 600 cliff dwellings, some over a thousand years old. These were the homes of the ancestral Pueblo people who lived here from 600 to 1300 AD. What's fascinating about Mesa Verde is how these ancient structures tell us the story of a resourceful and strong community. The Cliff Palace, the largest cliff dwelling in North America, is a sensation of ancient architecture with its tangled stone constructions and over 150 rooms. It makes you wonder, how did they build such complex homes up in the cliffs? And why did they leave this amazing place? But here's something equally important, how we can explore Mesa Verde responsibly. The park offers guided tours that not only bring these stories to life, but also ensure that we leave this historical treasure just as we found it. It's all about appreciating the past while protecting it for the future. Number six, Rapa Nui National Park, Chile. Now let's head to the heart of Easter Island, which is home to the mysterious Rapa Nui National Park. The moment you set foot here, you're greeted by the Moai, the colossal stone statues that have made Easter Island famous. These towering figures, some standing over 30 feet tall and weighing up to 82 tons, are a sight to behold. But they're more than just impressive statues. They're a window into the island's mysterious past. Now, you might be thinking, who built these giants and why? How were people, living on a remote island with limited resources, able to carve and transport these massive structures? The Moai are silent, but their presence speaks volumes about the skills and beliefs of the island's ancient inhabitants. Visiting Rapa Nui is like entering a world where myth and history merge. Each statue, each stone here, has a story that's still being put together by historians and archaeologists. And as visitors, we have a role to play too. By following the guidelines for responsible tourism, we make sure that we respect and preserve this mystical site for future explorers. Number 5. Cahokia Mound State Historic Site, USA At number 5, let's uncover a hidden chapter in North American history you probably haven't heard about. Welcome to Cahokia Mound's State Historic Site. Located in Illinois, this place was once a busy city, long before European explorers landed on these shores. Cahokia Mounds is truly a hidden gem. It was the largest city of Mississippian culture, thriving from 700 to 1400 AD. Now, what makes Cahokia so special? It's home to the largest pre-Columbian earthwork in the Americas, Monk's Mound. This massive structure stands at 100 feet tall, a proof of the creativity of the people who built it without modern tools or technology. But Cahokia isn't just about the size of its mounds, it's about the mysteries it holds. Who were the people of Cahokia? How did they live, and why did they suddenly disappear? As you walk among these ancient mounds, you're literally entering a ground that holds centuries of untold stories. It is a story that reminds us of the incredible achievements of our ancestors, hidden in plain sight. If you are enjoying this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our amazing weekly videos. Number 4. Gorim National Park and the Rock Sites of Cappadocia, Turkey Imagine walking through a landscape where towering boulders and steep cliffs mix flawlessly with ancient human-made caves. Cappadocia is famous for its unique rock formations, known as fairy chimneys, but there's so much more to this place than just its otherworldly scenery. These rock formations aren't just natural wonders, they're home to an entire network of historical dwellings, churches and cities carved into the stone. Entire communities with their homes, places of worship, and even wineries all lived within these rocks. It's a proof of human creativity and the ability to adapt to even the most challenging environments. But what's truly fascinating about Cappadocia is the story it tells about the early Christian communities who lived here. These caves and rock churches are adorned with some of the most unique and well-preserved frescoes you'll ever see. Number 3. Val d'Orsia, Italy 
Let's switch gears and lose ourselves in a landscape so beautiful, it seems like it's been lifted straight from a Renaissance painting. Welcome to Val d'Orcia in Tuscany, Italy. Val d'Orcia is a region where every hill, vineyard, and winding road tells a story of harmony between people and the land. This is the place that inspired artists for centuries. A living canvas where nature's greens and browns mix naturally with the rustic reds and yellows of farmhouses. But Val d'Orcia is more than just a feast for the eyes. It's a proof of thoughtful and sustainable land management that dates back to the 14th and 15th centuries. The rolling hills, the orderly vineyards, the lined cypress trees, all were designed to create a landscape that's productive, sustainable, and breathtakingly beautiful. This region is also a celebration of culture and tradition. From its world-famous wines to its rich culinary heritage, Val d'Orcia invites you to not just see, but to taste and feel the essence of Tuscany. Every corner from Pienza, known for its pecorino cheese, to the historic vineyards of Montalcino, has a flavor and story unique to this land. Visiting Val d'Orcia is about enjoying the slow and mindful rhythm of life here. It's about understanding how centuries of careful cultivation and respect for nature have shaped this landscape. By exploring this region responsibly, we contribute to the preservation of not just the land, but the traditions and lifestyles that make it so special. Number two, Qasar of Eight Ben Hadou, Morocco. Welcome to the Qasar of Eight Ben Hadou in Morocco, a fortified village that's a stunning example of earthen clay architecture. Imagine walking through narrow, winding streets, surrounded by high walls and towering gates. Eight Ben Hadou is more than just a cluster of buildings. It's a masterpiece of Moroccan earthen construction, standing proudly in the harsh desert landscape. His kassar, or fortified village, tells the tale of a bygone era. It's a silent witness to the caravan routes that once brought traders and travelers through the Sahara. Each house, each granary, each mosque within these walls holds stories of a lifestyle that was adapted to the desert's demands. But what truly makes Eid Ben Hadou remarkable is its enduring legacy. Beside the modern world encroaching on every side, this Qasar remains largely intact, a testament to the creativity and toughness of its builders. As we walk through this UNESCO World Heritage Site, we're reminded of the importance of preserving such places. By respecting this space and following sustainable tourism practices, we help keep the story of Eid Ben Hadou alive for future generations. Number 1. Great Smoky Mountains National Park, USA. Now, get ready for the grand finale as we reveal the top spot on our UNESCO World Heritage Countdown. Welcome to Great Smoky Mountains National Park, straddles the border between North Carolina and Tennessee. Known as the Smokies, this place is like a magical forest with misty mountains and an incredible array of wildlife. It's like walking into a natural paradise where over 10,000 species of plants and animals call home. And guess what? Scientists believe there are still thousands more yet to be discovered here. But the Great Smoky Mountains are more than just a haven for nature lovers. They are steeped in the rich cultural heritage of the Appalachian Mountains. This land echoes the stories of the Cherokee people and the Appalachian settlers. Their music, crafts, and traditions are woven into the very fabric of these hills. It's also an opportunity to adopt eco-friendly visitation. This means staying on designated trails to protect fragile habitats respecting wildlife from a distance, and leaving no trace of our visit behind. It's about ensuring that the beauty and biodiversity of the Smokies remain unspoiled for future generations. And that wraps up our journey through seven UNESCO World Heritage Sites you must visit. From Mesa Verde to the Great Smoky Mountains, we've explored the wonders of the past and the beauty of our planet. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments box. Which place are you planning to visit this year?